as you guys know, Activision and PlayStation have a very good partnership in terms of PlayStation get DLC 30 days early before everyone else. They get the beta first and so forth and so forth. Xbox used to have this back in the day on the 360, but then once that contract expired, PlayStation swooped in, they slid into Activision's DMs, gave them a bunch more cash, and they signed the agreement. Well hello there and welcome back to a brand new video where today is a very exciting day. I do apologise about the delay of this video. As you guys might have been aware, I was away in Tenerife for about 7 days with my girlfriend and I've simply been catching up with gaming news because today's video was announced about a week ago. Yeah, no one ever does that anymore. I occasionally do it in the videos just to, you know, have a little bit, you know, a little bit of a throwback because, you know, everyone used to say, about a week ago. I don't know where that came from. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. But anyway, about a week ago, Activision announced something pretty crazy at E3. Yeah, it's it's mind-boggling. So they were talking about Black Ops 4 and everything else like that. As you guys know, Activision and PlayStation have a very good partnership in terms of PlayStation get DLC 30 days early before everyone else. They get the beta first and so forth and so forth. Xbox used to have this back in the day on the 360. But then once that contract expired, PlayStation swooped in. They slid into Activision's DMs, gave them a bunch more cash and they signed the agreement so sony and activision are the partnership for call of duty for the foreseeable future however the good news is with those two guys partnering up is as of this month so as of june of 2018 until july 11 on the playstation 4 black ops 3 will be free you're like what Yes, that's right. Black Ops 3 will be free as a digital download on your PlayStation 4 until July 11th. All you need to be is a PlayStation Plus member, and yeah, that, that's pretty crazy. However, there are a few other things. There is an additional DLC map pack completely remade for Black Ops 3. It will be remade for Black Ops 4, we've been told. However, for Black Ops 3... There is a new DLC called Back in Black Map. Now, we have four maps, which are, you know, some fan favorites. For example, we have Slum, we have Jungle, we have Firing Range, and Summit. All playable on the Black Ops 3. On the Black Ops 3? What do you want about map? All playable within Black Ops 3. Yeah, it's, it's a map pack. However, this is the catch, right? In order to get this free DLC pack... For Black Ops 3, you need to pre-order Call of Duty Black Ops 4 for the PlayStation Store. And in return, you'll get Back in Black maps for Black Ops 3. Pretty awesome. And the maps are immediately playable on Black Ops 3. Include fan favorite maps. Like I said, Jungle, Summit, Sums, and Firing Range. But there's only available for PlayStation. So if you're an Xbox guy, you don't get this. But no, it's that's crazy. Like, Black Ops 3 for free. An additional map pack. If you purchase PlayStation, play, if you purchase PlayStation 4, if you purchase Black Ops 4 through the PlayStation Store and you get some classic remastered maps on Black Ops 3, I think Activision and Sony have done something crazy. That's honestly mind boggling that they're giving away Black Ops 3 and a new DLC map pack if you purchase or if you pre order Black Ops 4 through the PlayStation Store. Now, the only issue is, the only issue is, is when you pre order a game on PlayStation, I believe it takes your money straight away. Technically, Activision are doing some good marketing here in terms of, you know, let's give you Black Ops 3 for free if you have it or have it not. You know, basically, they want everyone to have the ability to play Black Ops 3, but then they're saying, you know, if you pre order Black Ops 4 on the PlayStation Store, you get this new map pack. The only way to get this map pack is by pre ordering Black Ops 4. So if you do have to pay, and I believe you do, on the PlayStation Store as a pre-order, you pretty much are paying for Black Ops 4. You're locking yourself in. It's like their ecosystem, right? They bring you in with Black Ops 3. They tempt you with this new map pack, but only if you buy the next generation game, Black Ops 4, and you're like, you know, do I? Do I not? To be honest, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. It's, it's, I understand why they're doing this, but, you know... It's kind of sneaky, so just keep that in mind. So what are your thoughts about today's video? Pretty exciting, and like I said, Slums, Jungle, Fire Range, and Summit are also coming to Black Ops 4 as a remake. So they pretty much just remade the maps for Black Ops 3, and I think they probably just simply did a little bit of a copy and paste for Black Ops 4. But no, very, very cool, crazy indeed. So if you have enjoyed today's video, then be sure to say massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you comment down below your thoughts regarding this, but anyway, have a wonderful day. Boop, 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 boop. 
Yeah, I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm very energetic right now. But anyway, have a wonderful day. And as always, see you guys in my next video. Adios, chap. Boom. And